Okay, here we've got the physical deluxe edition for cassette piece. We're gonna take a look at it, open it up, and see what's inside. So we've got on the back, and just a description of the game. The kind of usual of what you would expect on the back of a game box. But there is a bunch of stuff in here, so let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, uh, I've got it unwrapped, this little, okay, it opens outwards, it looks like, there we go. Okay, so the first thing we've got here is the art book, so this is a full print of the art book with lots of concept art from the game, it's kind of a regular size for an art book. Print quality is okay. It's not like a photo quality print. More of a, how you would describe it? More papery than like photo print paper. But it's, I believe it's the same as the PDF version that's available. Oh, there's a little bit of extra stuff in here. It looks like some stuff from the DLC. That's, that's pretty cool. Maybe it's just the one page, I'm not sure. I have to check through the whole book to be sure. Yeah. Right, so that's that. Put that aside. Here we've got the game itself on the Switch. Looks like the same back as the big box. Comes with the DLC. No, oh, here's some of the DLC. Yeah, here are the Unknown and Cosplay back. A little bit of foam for framing. Got some stickers. These are the stickers of the images that are like the actual stickers on the cassette tapes in the game. Got a super rare game sticker. This is the one that made the pack. You've got, this should be a set of the trading cards. So open that up in a bit. You've got a iron-on patch. We've got the uh, soundtrack. You can see the different songs that it has on it. Okay, I think that's everything that's physically in the box. I'm gonna set that to the side for now. And let's take a look at some things in more detail. So, okay. So, let's see. We'll take a look at the cards first. So pretty simple pack here. It's just kind of a clear pack, just like the individual booster packs that they've sold kind of in the same batch as this. So let's take a look at the cards inside. Okay. So this one here at the top is actually a card, but it's just kind of meant to be the front of the pack. So we've got, should be one of each. Okay. There we go. So you can see that we've got one of each different of the four uh, cassette beasts that they include cards for, one of Aleph, and then there's this one of Aleph that is kind of really shiny and reflective, so just to compare it. Not that the normal one isn't kind of shiny, but this one is a little more shiny and reflective. But other than that, I don't think there's anything particularly notable. They have the same, like, text at the bottom indicating their, their number. Okay, so that's it for the cards. That's kind of what the back looks like, too, if you're interested in that. Yeah, okay. So we'll set those to the side. We already kind of took a look at the art book, so let's take a look in the actual Switch game case. 
let's open that up. So in here we got a few things. We've got this Ranger Handbook, which is the manual for the game, I believe. Oops. Yeah, they got table of contents. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Stylization. A lot of like drawn kind of aesthetics, the text font. Kind of looks more written than a lot of fault by default will tend to look. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, black shock. Yep. Definitely want to look through this more later on. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. We've got the actual cartridge of the game. It's a Switch game cartridge, uh, so they pretty much kind of look similar, with the exception of the art is different for each game. And then it does have this cover, which I believe is reversible, so you can have the outside of the box look like this instead of like this. What else do we want to check out? And then the back of the stickers, nope, it's pretty straightforward. It's a patch. Got the CD, I guess I'll open this up and take a look at the disc. I believe it's just kind of the same key art on it. Okay, it's gonna open up like this and pull out to get the CD. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. You got the print on the front and then just normal CD on the back. That's, that's it. So that is the uh, physical deluxe edition of Cassette Beast for the Nintendo Switch. So taking a closer look at the art book, it has concept art for the Cassette Beast added in the 2.1 Catacombs update. Um, it has some ones on the ones added in Peer of the Unknown. And then I think the only other thing that I least noticed in quick viewing was the page on one of our there might be more, but I think that that might be it for, in terms of new things that are in this that are not in the pre-existing PDF version of the art book. Let's take a closer look at the Ranger Handbook. We got your table of contents, um, some stuff on the basic controls. Then um, after that, it's a lot of really nice kind of yeah, the little bit of general info. Not so much like. A game manual, more of like, hey, here's a little, not quite lore book, but something kind of in between. It's got a lot of specifically drawn art for this. Some of this appears to be uh, kind of line art-ish versions of official art, but a lot of it is seem to have been kind of drawn for this, which is kind of nice. Got some stuff for fusion, so if you want to <laughs> know what this is supposed to look like, you can see drawn art of it there, which I don't think there is for much in the way of fusions because those are procedurally generated in the game. Let's 
stuff on yeah, Windows Capri. We've got that one. Some stuff on remastering. Mine keepers. Um, I like that they kind of have this. It looks like the stickers have been placed in here, but it is actually physically printed on there. But it's quite cute. Um, like the, the Archangel there. And then hint at Black Shuck. And then that's it. But it's quite nice. I like this. This is definitely like, it's not full on a manual. It's not supposed to be, but it is quite nice, cute, and then definitely effort was quite put into that.